What if I would have came, came up from a warmer and fuzzier background? I'm trying to unravel this headache I have. Because in the last post where I was um, critiquing the homeless and comparing those um, just simply with fucked up attitudes and working on this to take advantage of um, the tools of capitalism I do wonder what if I would have came from a warmer and fuzzier background because some people can use that as a cop out and say, no, well, Mama and Papa did their best. Or Mama and Papa didn't care, so you did the best. Or nobody cared, so it's up to you to do the best. I hold myself accountable for a while. Everything else that's led up to this moment here. Whether I did something based off experience, research, and insight, or following my gut, or someone else's advice, or someone else's um, negative advice, which was sabotage, I did it, I'm here, deal with it. I think I'm doing mental, um, what's the word, mental gymnastics right now. I'm thinking, you know, what if I would have done this or that? But why is it that I could be uh, optimistic or pessimistic? I believe this or that, and why do I think that? And uh, mentally I'm getting uh, caught up. And it could be just uh, running into just a bunch of assholes lately, I think. To even make me think of uh, doubting or, or a double take. And I've seen things that I think some people could get traumatized by it. A well, uh, uh, YouTube channel that I watch is Wild Smile. <coughs> and they were show, showing the uh, compilation of uh, rioters in Philadelphia with the um, Super Bowl win. And some dumb bitch was like, whoa, 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 oh my god. Or, as um, some of these rioters were bringing down a, a lamppost in the city somewhere. Again, that that's my that's my species right there, fucking winning and saying, "Oh, let's fucking destroy the place." And that's also my species that says, "Well, no, you can't stop them. You can't even if you have a gun, you can't blow their brains out because they have rights too, you know." But let them party. Well, we'll fix that. We got tax dollars. You know, then we think about, um, we complain about, uh, well, my kid doesn't know how to read because he's a fucking idiot and 
I don't want to teach them how to read, and why haven't the fucking teachers taught them how to read? Well, there's no money because we're busy unfucking the mess we made from a Super Bowl win. It's a trip trying to understand that, you know. Someone's complaining about it, and then we look at at an effect, and we don't bother to look at the cause because we did it also. with the most satanic holiday of them all coming up <laughs> Valentine's Day no I'm not hating on couples or love no I'm just um, trying to understand there's a day you're supposed to love and why can't one just have a lifetime of loving And, and now today, with the people that I care for, that I admire, that I return their calls, that have my loyalty. But overall, with uh, stupid shit like that in my mind, still come back to the um, familiar calculation and conclusion, which is all I can do is just focus on myself and what I can do. Again, I just have to hit the default button of uh, Jim Rohn and just say, well, those people fall under the, under the category of mysteries of the mind. I think as Dan Penny would put it, it's something like uh, getting tired of... Uh, Dragging motherfuckers across the finish line.
think the point is just to be effective with your fucking lifetime. If, if you could calculate that, and the sooner the better, and we could always say, we could always look back at time and be like, well, you know what? He, she, Zim, sir, so they started drawing earlier. They had this going up. They had the best this or that. No, man, it's not fair. Okay, it wasn't fair. Now move forward. Make it happen.